In this video, we'll be going over the question longest common prefix. So we write a function to find the longest common prefix string amongst an array of strings. If there's no common prefix, return an empty string. So in the first example, we have an array of flower, flow, and flight. And the co longest common prefix is FL. So we have FL, FL, and FL. It's not equal to FLO because flight is, has FLI. So let's first go over, go over the thought process. So initially, we have the longest common prefix, which which um, prefix length, which will be equal to the length of the first word. We will be comparing the first word, comparing the first word with every other word. But we will only compare up to the index, up to length. This is because there's no point. This is because there is no point in checking for characters after this index. So let's go over a simple example here. So initially, we have a length of six because of flower here. So we will only compare the indices from zero to six because zero, um, zero index. I mean, zero to five because it's zero index. So we will be comparing flower with flow. But since, since flow has a shorter length, then six, we will need to update six to four because flow has four characters. So we only compare the characters from zero to zero to three. From zero to three. And in this case, all of the characters matches. So our current, our current length is three now. No, it's four. Current length is four. So we have current length is equal to four. Now we'll compare uh, compare flower with flights, but only compare the indices from zero to three. So we'll be comparing so uh, zero, one, two, three, and flights is going to be zero, one, two, three. In this case, we have a mismatching character at index two, so we will need to update our length to two. Then we can generate a substring from indices zero to one, which will give us F and L. Let's, uh, let's go do a pseudocode then the explanation will be more clear. Let's validate the input parameter first. If strings is empty, so there's no strings inside the input array, so return zero because there's no strings, so we'll create a variable length to keep track of the current longest common prefix, prefix length. Then we'll iterate through the indices from one to the end of the array. Denote as i. The length will be in initially the first string inside the array. So initially string zero dot length. Then we'll update length if the current string is um, ha has a smaller length. So for example, right here, flow has a smaller length, so we need to update our current longest to the length of the shorter string. Update length to i dot length if if the current string is shorter. Then we will iterate through the characters. The characters from zero to length minus one, because we do not want to compare the characters after the current longest common prefix length. 
So we're denoted as J. So we retrieve the character C and D from the first string, from string zero and strings i. Because we're comparing the first string with every other string. If c does not equal to d, we will need to update our current longest prefix length. So we need to update length to the current index. So update to j. After we have compared all of the strings, we have found our current longest length. So we have returned a substring of the first word from 0 to length minus 1. Now let's, now let's go over the time and space complex, complexity. So time complexity is equal to O of n times k plus O of k equals to n times k. Where n is the number of strings, strings, and k is the number of characters associated with each string. So initially, in this one, we compare the first string with every other string. And the O of K is generating our resulting substring. Generate result substring. And then our space complexity is also is, is O of K. Because we have OK is the resulting substring. Now we can jump into the code. So let's validate the input parameter. Strings.length is equal to zero, then we can return an empty string. Oh, we can return empty string. Int length is initially the first string's length, the length of the first string. And then we iterate through all the other strings. We'll update the longest common prefix length if the current string is is shorter. So math.min length strings i the current length. And then we'll compare the characters up to length. Then we will retrieve the two characters. Char C is equal to character at the first string. And D is equal to the character on the current string. So if C is not equal to D, we'll update the length. And then we can break out the loop. Here we need to break our loop. Now we can return a substring from zero to a length minus one using the first string. Substring zero to length. Let me know if, if you have any questions in the comment section below.